John, your horse has just looked gorgeous out there training. Talk about how this experience is different than when you came with Giacomo, who'd been hitting the board in grade one races, um, but went off 50 to one, this horse is five to one, so a little bit different there. It is a lot different, uh, but of course everything is different this year, so I don't think we can draw any uh, comparisons. It's, it's quiet back here. Would you have made the Derby if it had been made? Oh yes. Yeah. We, when we made the San Felipe, that, that meant that we could make the Derby of everything on the ball. And um, has the extra four months helped him, or do you think he was ready to go in early May and it would have been nice to just run then? It would have been nice to run then because uh, the, the sequence would have been just perfect. Um, and I don't think the four months has helped him or hurt him because he was pretty precocious early on in, as a three-year-old. Mike Smith told me that he doesn't think you had him completely, you wanted to win the shared belief, but this was your goal and you didn't have him completely cranked up and he's got a couple really nice work since then. So we'll talk about the difference in preparation going into the shared belief and going into the Kentucky well, Derby. Going into the shared belief, we're working on other things other than uh, cranking him up for the race. He, uh, we're working on his attitude a little bit, um, trying to get him to behave a little bit better is starting to feel really good, and uh, it was beginning to be a little difficult to handle. So we want to do everything we could to quiet him, calm him down, get him to relax, and not crank him up or get him aggressive. So that's how we went into the shared belief, and then after the shared belief, we knew, well now it's time to get ready for the Kentucky Derby, so we have to train him differently. So is he being a good boy? I mean, his behavior, or is, did he look, learn his lessons going into that? <laughs> well, it's just that he's a big horse, right? And, and he's um, very strong, and uh, sometimes he can be a little overpowering when he wants to do something. So uh, we had to just try to work on his manners a little bit. But he learned the lessons that yeah, you were trying right. to teach him. Right, and the only way you can do that with a big, strong animal is to uh, you know, quiet them, and the best way to quiet them is to give them lots of exercise. You know, just give wet saddle blankets is the best thing for a high strong horse. Um, he ran in some decent sized fields last year, but this year, no fault of his own, he can only run against two shows up. They have been short fields. Is that a concern at all that he hasn't had the experience um, uh, this year? He, he, other horses don't really affect him. He'll, he'll be fine. And also where he's in a race, there's not going to be probably that many horses, wouldn't be that many horses around. Not that he's going to be in front, but... Well, he's breaking from the outside, so he doesn't have to contend with being sucked down on the inside or sandwiched where the horse is pushing you down, right? So that, so being on the outside, that's a little bit of a break. I remember you telling us, uh, I don't know, it was a few years ago or whatever, that you'd never watched a replay from uh, 2005 because you, you had it all in your brain. Uh, <laughs> is, I mean, you, you still not watch them? No, no, because the, 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 the feeling I had after the race was so special. Right? I want to keep that feeling. I don't want to analyze the race and go, oh, look at this, look at that. I just want to think of the whole thing and the feeling I got from it. I think a little, um, if you would win this derby, a little cheated that you're not going to have 170,000 of your best friends out there, your new best friends out there. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, you know, that's exciting. That's always exciting. That's a, a sort of an electric feeling. But winning the derby is always special. We just like to find out what it's like to win with only horsemen, basically, <laughs> in the stands. Yeah, but then, you know, uh, Honor AP is a completely different horse, and it's his opportunity. So... Uh, I want to make the best of that. Yeah. Uh, what do you like about this horse's characteristics? I mean, he just has all the looks of a mom, a quarter horse. I mean, that's, right. um, you know, pedigree, looks. Um, you, you're the expert. You know, if you could elaborate on that. that. Well, you know, uh, I would, obviously he's, you know, he's named after his grandsire. And um, so what he, what he really has is a stride. He has a long underline. And he has a very big stride, and it's sort of an effortless stride. Like when you watch sprinters run, they run, run hard, right? They're turning the stride over, turning the stride over, turning the stride over. And you're not seeing that swing, you know, that little rhythm to their stride, usually. And um, with, with Honor AP, that's what you see. You see that sort of swing, the glide, the stride, the swing, the glide, the stride. And that, that 
shows or indicates that he's not putting a lot of effort into it. So that helps horses go farther. What do you make of, of um, Tis the Law? Uh, you know, I, I've only seen Tis the Law on television, except I saw him gallop by uh, yesterday morning. And obviously, he's a you know, high class horse and looks great out there, and uh, certainly is going to be very difficult. And I wish him the best of luck, too. But, oops, oh, wait, where'd those go? Let's see. Um, but, I mean, you're the second choice, so it's certainly different than from with Giacomo, where you, you were maybe hoping for certain things in here. Is there more, I guess there's more, maybe not that you can expect to win the Derby, but you... Well, you know, so uh, because uh, Honoré P is second choice, or around uh, second choice anyway, with more no to race day, um, I always think back to Giacomo, who won at 50 to 1. So the odds don't guarantee anything, right? So we just have to see how the race is run. Mike Smith, what is it about Mike Smith? Well, there are several things about Mike Smith. First is dedication, because he's a guy that's, that works out every day. He, he takes care of his body. He treats his body like it's something very special. So his dedication to staying fit, and then his passion, his passion for the game, horse racing, and his passion for individual horses. Uh, many of you have seen Mike get on horses and how immediately he bends over and pets them on the ne neck and makes some sort of connection. So he's not a peddler, just peddling around the racetrack. He's actually trying to hook up with the horse and be part of the horse and understand what the horse is doing at every time. So I think it's a, his experience, his dedication, his passion. They, you know, they've just stayed at the highest level for a professional athlete.